Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving through Black River. We're actually driving out of Black River on the south coast of Jamaica. Now somebody had asked a question. What do you think about tourism on the south coast of Jamaica? So guys, let's discuss it today. Now, I don't think the south coast of Jamaica is ideal for tourism. Why would you invest billions of dollars on the south coast in tourism when you, on the north coast it's tried and proven you build a hotel on the north coast it's going to do well. I think the tourism should stay on the north coast and other types of development take place on the south coast like build BPOs, build residential housing developments, build, build commercial developments, build plazas, manufacturing facilities, those kind of things should go on the south coast. Now between Ocherios and Negril, prime tourism area prime you can't lose off tourism there between those areas and lots of hotels are going up there lots of hotels now when we say south coast we don't mean well let's break it down so between Negril and say black river tourism can work on a smaller scale you can build hotels along the south along that area but between black river and king and saint thomas kingston you're not or, and saint catherine you're not going to find i don't think that section of the south coast is ideal for tourism you're better off investing somewhere else so guys let me know what you think so between Ocherios and Negril, a level one tourism area. You can't lose building a hotel there. Anywhere along the strip, you're going to do well. Between Negril and Black River, you have certain areas like White House, perfect for tourism. The beach by Bluefields, perfect for tourism. But it's select areas between Negril and Black River. That's I mean, you have Treasure Beach to yes, so let's go as far as Treasure Beach. You can, you have certain areas between there you could do tourism developments, but not every area will be like Savlamar. You wouldn't put a hotel in Savlamar. Santa Cruz, those areas you wouldn't put a hotel. But there are certain areas between Negril and Treasure Beach you could put a hotel. Certain areas. But the ideal spot is between Ocherios and Negril. Now between Treasure Beach, or let's say Black River, and St. Catherine, nowhere out there would tourism work. It's just not a tourist area. There was some discussion recently about Saudi Arabia looking to invest billions of dollars in tourism on the south coast in Jamaica. But I just can't imagine why... You would want to build a hotel on the south coast when you have the north coast. And there is a lot of land available on the north coast. Mark you, it's going to be expensive. You're going to pay, pay top dollar because it's the tourist mecca area. But I wouldn't recommend building hotels on the south coast. I wouldn't. Jamaica needs BPOs. Jamaica needs commercial centers. No. Let's say you had 26 acres of land on the north coast. Build hotels. If you have 26 acres of land on the south coast, say Maypen, Mandeville, um, St. Catherine, do commercial buildings, build residential areas, because while tourism might be the main industry for Jamaica, you have to maintain the tourist industry and that workers need to come from the south coast, goods need to come. 
so that that's what i think so guys let me know what you think about tourism on the south coast now remember here in certain areas you can build hotels but between treasure beach and saint catherine i wouldn't recommend building any hotels on that stretch so guys let me know what you think and this here black river is definitely going to i think black river is going to be a uh, very developed area but we'll talk about that in another video all right guys so let me know what you think about tourism on the south coast between black river and saint catherine more specifically would you build a hotel there leave your comments in the section below all right guys have a good day